What's going on everybody, Sophisticated here, your resident title trickster, bringing you the latest and greatest biz content there is to offer. If you enjoy what we do on the channel, remember to show your support by subscribing, smashing that like button, and leave a comment to let me know what you think. Without further ado, let's get right into today's gameplay. What's going on guys, Sophisticated here, bringing another episode of our Grind to Diamond. Okay, this guy wants to go late in bed. I'm not sure about that. This is our uh, 27th episode. We are in our gold one promos. I think we have a potential to actually skip, though, because we've won our first game. So if we win the next one, we have potential to actually skip divisions so, and go right into platinum. But we'll see how it goes. If we win this game, we, uh, we actually will promote. So hopefully that's what happens. I'm thinking I'm going to take my E, so that way if we get some CC from Swain, we can actually do this. Make this happen. Oh, this is a kill here. I'm just gonna ignite her. Got first blood on her. We might kill her too, honestly. He's gonna get her flash. I'm just gonna reset here. I did use my ignite, which is pretty bad. I actually cannot reset here. They might get that kill there. Nice, they did get that kill. I probably should have kept going, but I need to get here for XP. I unfortunately used both of my corrupting pots. But she's hard shoving like this. It's actually gonna work out for me. I don't miss any of those first three minions in terms of XP or anything. But I did use Ignite. I wanted to secure first blood potentially on that Zyra. This Ari is also like, has like a 70% win rate. So she's really, really good at Ari. So not having Corrupting Pots is going to, not having any stacks in my Corrupting Pots is going to be pretty bad for me. She might even kill me here. Actually, we might kill her here. Yeah, we got her here. Ah, I wish she would have let me have that. If she would have let me have that kill right there, that would have been so, so big. I mean, just getting the assist is pretty big, too. But if I would have got the kill there, that would have been absolutely insane. She's got to be careful. Oh, wow, she just kills her like that, huh? Okay, we'll take that. Very, very good start. This Nidalee's actually putting out an insane amount of pressure. That gave us this whole wave which we were down a little bit, and it gave us um, two assists here. So two stacks of our Ravenous Hunter. It's really good. They'll get this kill too. Wow. She should get that kill. She needs to go into the bush and kill him though. Not give him a chance to get away. All right, let's grab that. Grab that, and then we'll grab Control Ward as well. Yeah, Nidalee is, this Nidalee is super strong right now. That's really, really good. Three kills already. And she's got Dark Harvest, so she's got five stacks of Dark Harvest in three minutes. That's disgusting. If she comes for this, if Nidalee comes for this, we could definitely look for a kill onto her here. I gotta be a bit careful, though. I don't want to get poked out too hard here. She's got a, her flash, so... Nah, I don't think we. I don't think we go for that. Oh, you don't go with your dad. She dies here. Ooh, so close. All right, this Nidalee is hyper aggressive. I kind of like it. It's it's got me a little shook, though. I'll come, but I don't think I'm going to make it to you in time, brother. She needs to let me get this. Nice. Really, really well played. I'm going to throw a, a ward over here because Ari could be... Yeah, I was going to say Ari could be coming back from there. That's really good. I'm actually just going to come for a gank straight down to here. Because I'm pretty positive this is going to work. Unless she has summoners here. Even so. She's going to have to flash here. That should do it. Nice, another kill. I got snare, but I should be fine. Really, really good job. Alright, this is going very well so far. This Nidalee's pressure is kind of just freaking the enemy out, I think. All right, let's grab that, and we'll grab a pair of boots. We'll grab another control word and grab Sweeper here, since we're so far ahead. Just constantly pressure the enemy in here. This Nidalee is, like, MVP status right now. She's doing insanely well. All right, they have a ward up here on this side, so I'm going to ping that for Nidalee. Yeah, we have so many stacks of Presence of Mind right now, too. Like, our mana pool is going to be super, super good. Don't have a lot of farm, but we've just been getting kills and stuff, so farm really isn't that big of an issue. We'll 
ping that she's Mia. She, I don't think she's gonna look for anything because honestly, she, her team is just so far behind in general that she might be discouraged. She may look for a back though because she did have a decent amount of CS over us. I think I'm just gonna hard shove this and look for a bot roam here. Yeah, I'm gonna look for a bot roam here. Because I think Nidalee might actually look for a gank. And they're kind of chunked out, to be honest. Yeah, this should work here. This should work. Oh, Jin, don't die, though, brother. Alright, I got a kill onto one of them, which is good. Now I'm going to shove this wave out, too. Since I'm missing some CS mid. Alright, really good. Uh, I think Jin just needed to not <laughs> step up crazy like that, but it's all good. Alright is going to be ahead of me in XP because she's been in the lane just way longer than us. But we're getting making a lot of plays for our team. Jin is 0-3. I didn't realize that. That's pretty, pretty bad, actually. I can't really step up here because she could charm me and get a pretty nice little chunk on me. Even with me having so many kills. But we're at 40, 4 out of 5 stacks of a Ravenous Hunter, so that's really good. For a fish on tour. Lands. Nice. I basically came down with the E. Activated my W or auto W to right after that, and then uh, I say we do this. We really don't need to deny her, we need to go for objectives. I'm gonna throw this control word right here just so we see her if she comes through here. We need to do the Drake, Nidalee. She's so far, we're so far ahead, we should definitely be taking this Drake. Instead of counter jungling. Plus we killed the mid laner right. So there's no need. No reason not to. To do this here. Oof. The reset. I'm going to come mid actually. And catch this wave. Alright we're doing really really good. Like the, our team is doing so so well. This Nidalee is just kind of hard carrying this game. With all of her pressure. Her early game pressure. And just everything that she's doing with this game. She's definitely setting us up for success here. Uh, I may have messed up my W's there. So I might not get all these. I'll get some of them. Actually, I might get them all. Yeah, I'll, probably get, I'll get them all here. Nice. Not sure where Ari is. She's probably just looking for a reset here. Because she has been in the lane, right? So she's getting CS. Ooh. Don't know if Jin wins that against the Lucian. I'm gonna come down here though, look for a roam. He'll probably reset, I would imagine, right? Look for uh can't stop him. Can't stop his back, that's fine. Looks like homegirl's doing everything there that she can though, that's really good. Nice, he got all that CS. We can maybe get a plate here with him. All right, I got 2100, so I'm going to look for a reset here. All right, really, really good. Got a full proto belt purchase here. That's super good. And I'm actually going to grab another control ward too, because it's just I have so much gold, I had just the right amount for it. Swain's got to be careful. I'm pretty sure he can get soloed here. 1B, yeah, I was about to say. If she would have committed there, he would have died. This Nidalee is grabbing everything, which is really, really good. I think all of our all our Renekton has to do right here is just not die. He just has to not um, give a bunch of kills over to Wukong, and then we're good. Just going to use my E and Proto Belt here for wave clear. So I should be able to pressure this in and get a plate here. And maybe some more. I'm sure Nidalee wins that. Oh, no, she doesn't. Wow. That's fine. We should, we'll actually get two plates here. Now I'm going to look bot.
because they're like constantly fighting there. I'm just going to double E right now. Try to get down here as soon as possible. Swain has his ult. Oh, I clicked on the mini-map. That's pretty bad. I should have this, just as long as they don't die here. Just going to go for the flash under him. And ignite him. Nice. Juicy little double. I didn't want him to, like, somehow get away, so I just flash right on top of them and secure that double. The ignite probably wasn't necessary, but I thought he was going to get away from me, so... Just go ahead and secure both of those. And, like, I didn't want them to potentially kill my teammates, right? So just take them out right of the way. Don't give him any time. Oh, if that landed, she was dead. Honestly, I'm so far ahead of her, I might be able to just kill her without ult now. This guy just has to not fight that guy. He just has to literally not fight him. And just let kind of like the rest of the team do well. I really, really want to dive this chick, but she's so healthy now. I'm probably just going to keep looking bot. I'm going to take out their vision here. So they don't have vision. Just going to help this in Italy. She's doing really well and helping me as well. I have Alton 20. I want to look to... Renekton has to not be up that far. Because not only is he not winning that matchup, he's going to be getting pressure by uh, Evelyn. There's Evelyn. I'm going to come down here. I don't know if I'm going to make it in time, though. No, nah, I'm not going to. Actually, I'll make it here in time. That lands. Ooh, I'm dead here, though. Maybe not. Well, that last tower shot. Trying to Q, trying to Q, Q through this. Don't think he has flash. Nice. We kited that out so well, me and Nidalee. But Ari could come down here. Nope, she just... Camp in mid, that's good, that's what we want. I want to stay for this gold here, though. All these plates. And then we come take this. She's going to get first blood tower there, which is really good, but we should be able to come grab this as well. Renekton just has to literally not fight that guy. He's four and two. Like, I don't know how he got ahead. You fighting him, brother. All right, let's go. Let's go ahead and grab the soul stealer because we're so far ahead. There's no reason not to. Um, and then we'll grab an amp tome here. Sell this. Actually, we'll grab the this for the cooldown. All right, we're looking really, really good here. I mean, I'm pretty strong. 8 and 0. I've got 87 farm. Ari has 0 KP. All I have to do is literally just farm up. Get this uh, Soul Stealer up a bunch of stacks. And we should be able to hard carry this game with Nidalee. And we're farming up pretty strong right now. I probably will get some MR at some point as well. Here. Alright, I don't know where any of their people are. So I want to make sure to come sweep through here and get some of this vision. And this guy. Our only problem right now is going to be this Wukong. And Evelyn could be could scale up into a beast as well. But if we have a good uh, control over the objectives right now. Just that that guy's going to be a problem. The uh, Wukong. 
for sure. Um, let's see. Zyra's mid. I should get be able to get some pressure here. I don't have Sheen or anything, but should be able to get some good pressure. Evelyn's definitely going to be in the area. Like, this Arya isn't stepping up on me without Evelyn being here. So I just got to pay her respect and not overextend. I'm going to come over here and try to try to catch her here. If possible. Maybe catch her at her camps. Actually, we just killed this here. All right, good kill by her. We can just pressure in this tower. Oh, Evelyn's right here. Wow. If he lands a snare. She's going to go invis here. Need to hit this. I'm going to come down here and just stop Ari's push here. Evelyn's definitely getting away at this point. Oh, she's right there. Not sure why Nidalee's not helping him here. He just has to not get charmed here. She's dead. I had to flash there because he looked like she looked like she was gonna kill Swain. All right, we. Oh no. Oh, I'm toast. Ah, oh, man, this freaking Nidalee. I didn't know this guy had Ignite. Our Renekton has got to do something at some point. Okay, there we go. That's good. Uh, I lost my stacks there, which is pretty bad. And Swain's going to die there, too. Wukong might hard carry this game. He definitely has the potential, too. Once we get our Zhonyas, though, we could definitely win this fight. Or win this game. This game is definitely winnable. We just need to buy armor. Like, this guy's got to be a tank and not... If I wouldn't have got charmed there, I would have been able to fight that and win. The uh, Against the Wukong. It's just I got charmed and he was able to just do more damage. To me while I was CC'd. I wasn't able to pump out my own damage. But honestly, everyone on their team, I should be able to one-shot, except for Wun Kong, because he got he bought the Hex Shrinker. But that means Jin should do a lot of damage to him. Or not the Hex Shrinker, he's got a full Maw. Oh, she's right. Freaking Wu Kong's right here. Ah, uh, we're both toast here. I got a flash over this. Oh, I don't have flash. He's got a bail. What are you fighting that for? Can't fight that, brother. Jeez. It's Renekton, man. This is going to make this game very difficult. This guy is, man, he's so massive right now. We can still win this game for sure. It's just, like, their whole team showed up perfectly. Like, we got a pressure or something here. If he hits a... This is a dead. Oh, I might be close here. Nice exhaust by that guy. This should be a kill. They should be able to kill something there. Nice. Really, really good. They got a bail, though, because Wukong's going to be coming for sure. They got to be careful. He's definitely going to be coming. All right, we got two kills there. That was really, really good. Got me a couple more stacks on my Dark Seal. Nidalee just needs to not, like, get tilted and lose her mental. 
Because we can definitely win this game. It's very winnable. We're strong everywhere else. Why is this guy coming? I'm going to come and try and help this guy. But well, he's probably going to die before I can get there. He's got to come to me. Yeah, just trolling. He should not be fighting that guy like that. I don't even think I can do anything to him here at this point. Like Renekton, like, he just has to literally stop fighting this guy. He keeps on extending and trying to fight him. Oh, wow, I messed that up. It's kind of insane. Got a nice little thousand gold shutdown on him there. Outplayed him. I didn't mean to hit my Zhonyas. Nidalee should be able to kill her. Nice. Alright, this is definitely, like I said, this is a winnable game, absolutely. We just need to have our team focus. Like, Renekton cannot be in a side lane matching him. Renekton needs to be around our team trying to make plays. Hmm... See, I'm gonna sweep up through this because she could be here. The Evelyn could be. I gotta flash away from that guy. Cause if he hit me with a full alt right there and like Ari was behind him, I would have died. I can definitely pressure this out. I'm very strong. I need my Sheen though. Brother, you need to come to me. That's a dead Wukong right here. This is a dead Wukong. It's a dead Wukong. Good heal by him, but this is a dead... Uh... Um, I don't know if we can keep going here, though. Yes, we can. She's dead here, too. She's going to give me... Oh, good charm by her. Really good charm by her. That was a very good charm by her. Our team's going a little too ham there, though. Um, let's see. I kind of want to go... I gotta get this Lich Bane. I need the Sheen for the pushing power. I kind of want to sell these Corrupting Pots as well at this point. Yeah, because I can grab the Lich Bane. Nidalee is kind of working here. She's doing really, really well. Oh, I really want this item. Yeah, we can beat this guy for sure. I mean, he's insanely strong, but we can definitely win this game. We need Nidalee to be here for this. Yeah, sit right here. Sit right here. Get the easy kill on Ari. That should set us up for an easy dragon here. It should be easy dragon here. I got this guy ignited. We just all in him here. We just bail, I think. I think we just bail here. I'm gonna let them do their thing. We pretty much won the whole fight. He does not need to keep going. I'm gonna try and come on the back half here. Nice. Actually, we won everything there. We just need to take towers now. Eh. I think we just take towers. Yeah. All right, Rush. That's free. It's free now. It's absolutely free. I'm going to actually sit right here, though. 
Oh, there it is, boys. There it is. We won our promos. You love to see it. Absolute decimation. All right, boys. There it is. Fizz mid versus Ari with a 70% win rate almost. We'll take you after action after this. All right, guys. This is the after action for the game we just played against that Ari mid. So starting from my top laner, my top laner was sitting at platinum four. We had a platinum three in the jungle. I'm sitting at gold two. We had a platinum four in the ADC role and a platinum three support. And yeah, so we actually did win our promo. So this isn't correct. We're, we're actually gold one. Unfortunately, we did not skip divisions. Uh, I definitely thought we were going to because especially when I queued up into this game and I saw how many platinum players there were, I was like, oh man, then I'm, I'm, I got a full team on my team that were all platinums. And then they had three platinum tier players as well. So I was assuming, I was like, okay, yeah, if I win this game, I'll definitely be uh, skipping divisions. So skipping from gold two straight into platinum, but... Oh no, not the worst. We're still we're still in platinum or or in gold one now. So now all we got to do is just grind through it. I'm sure if like now when we win games, we might even be getting upwards of like 25 LP. So maybe like four or five games if we get four or five more. You know, I mean games in a row, which is kind of steep to say, but uh, yeah, if we manage to do that, we will get a quick series into platinum. But yeah, this game this game was really like crazy. This was honestly just an insane game. The enemy actually invaded us, or not invaded us. We got a late invade on them. Got a kill onto the Zyra, then we kept going. They got a kill onto the the Evelyn. Um, got another kill onto the Lucian, I think. And then freaking Nidalee hooked us up with a super early gank, a level two gank. Got the kill onto Ari. Got to shove out a couple waves. And then I was just perma roaming bot. I just roamed bot over and over and over and over, and just kind of just killed him over and over. I think this game wouldn't have been anywhere near as close had this guy not got as strong as he did. Um, most damage in the game. Pumped out a lot. Was kind of he was trying to hard carry, but there came a certain point where like. I mean, we just kind of all played really well around the fact that he was as fed as he was. Um, anytime he like he would try to come into a team fight, if I had Ignite up, I would make sure to Ignite him at the very start of it to stop his healing from his Conqueror, his Death Dance, um, and his Grievous Wound, any, anything that he had, right? And then also, we built a nice little lead ourselves. Um, Nidalee gave us a nice early gank that gave us an assist. So we had like two stacks of our Ravenous Hunter at level one. It was pretty insane. And then... I just made sure to roam bot over and over and over and just kind of super punish these guys who are who are permanently pushing and just get myself super fed and then distributed my my lead around the map like really really well this game. Um, I think even if the game would have kept going, we would have picked up that Baron and just closed it out very very clean. But yeah, it was a really good game um, in Gold One now, so we are climbing and like I said, hopefully we can get a couple more games in, get a and get like some significant LP gains because I think we we definitely have platinum and Mar. We're already playing against platinum players in gold one. You know what I mean? Going into gold one. So who knows? Maybe like, maybe whenever we get into um, these promos, maybe instead of going to platinum four, we go right to platinum three. That would be the dream. If we have like a really successful climb up to our promos, this, this, uh, in this division in gold one. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, if you haven't yet sub to the channel it really does help. And we'd love to have you here. If you want to see anything in the future in specific, let me know in the comment section below. All right, hope to see you on the next video.